So leading into Book Riot Live, I wanted to pick up some of the books written by the authors that were going to be in attendance, and so I picked up Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu, which is his collection of sci-fi short stories. Um, that was a safe bet. The titular short story won the Hugo, the Nebula, and the World Fantasy Awards, and that's not even my favorite story. Frankly, there isn't a bad one in the bunch, and the good ones are exceptionally so. Um, this is like a beautifully realized, brightly hued, perfectly rendered collection that works on so many different levels. In the preface, Ken Liu talks about prizing the logic of metaphors, and he walks the walk. These stories somehow manage to be historical fiction and science fiction at the same time. He mixes the magical with the mundane, and neither seems out of place. There's a story where the uh, protagonist has a manifestation of her soul as an ice cube that she carries around in a thermos, which sounds ridiculous, but it is beautifully realized. Um, even a straight-ahead story with uh, sci-fi private eye thriller chasing down a serial killer is perfectly done. I could have spent an entire novel with these characters in this setting, and yet he pulls it all together in less than 60 pages. So yeah, this was a great short story collection, and I highly recommend it. So I'm grateful for Ken for signing my copy of the book, and I'm looking forward to spending some more time in his head with The Grace of Kings. This is book one of his Dandelion Dynasty, and it is a doorstopper of a novel weighing in at well over 600 pages. But Ken has garnered a lot of goodwill on the strength of his short story collection. And frankly, I'm intrigued by him referring to the genre as silk punk. We are familiar with the idea of steampunk, chrome and brass, uh, Victorian England, where steampunk is informed more by ancient China and utilizes elements of bamboo, silk, uh, herbal lore, and ancient Eastern magics. So, yeah, Ken is clearly a thoughtful and engaging writer. And then I hear him speak and find out that he was originally a computer programmer who made the transition, as you do, into law and now combines the two as a litigation consultant for a cybersecurity and a computer forensics company. And, oh, of course, he has two kids at home. So, great, yet another overachieving Asian while I'm feeling pretty damn good about stopping day drinking long enough to shoot a five minute video. And for all you NaNoWriMo wieners whining about not hitting your word count and stalling out at 30K, here's someone who just keeps putting words on the page. And in fact, The Grace of Kings was initially a NaNoWriMo story that he had written with his wife. Now, with all that free time that he has, he has also translated lots of fiction. By his estimation, Ken Liu has translated 40 short stories and four novels, one of which happens to be Cixin Li's uh, Three-Body Problem, which is the first translated work to win a Hugo. And earlier this month, he has released Imaginary Planets, which is a collection of Chinese contemporary sci-fi that he's translated entirely, you know, with all that free time that he happens to have. While I'm talking about Chinese short story sci-fi writers, I have to mention Ted Chiang whose The Story of Your Life was the basis of the movie Arrival, which I saw and was completely blown away by. Now, Ted Chiang's The Story of My Life got me right in the feels, and frankly, when I was reading it, I thought, this thing is unfilmable. Even describing it in a movie pitch idea out loud makes it sound ridiculous, so I won't even try. And frankly, the less you know going in, the better. And this is one of those rare occurrences where I strongly suggest you check out the movie first before reading the short story there is an art to how director Denis Villeneuve unfolds the story. And as a bit of a tangent, the idea of a Blade Runner sequel is an absolutely horrible, terrible, no good, very bad idea. But knowing that Denis Villeneuve is going to be directing it actually makes me feel a little bit better. This movie, The Arrival, was that good. It is brilliantly paced and beautifully done. Now, if you want a taste of Ted Chiang's writing style, I have a link below to the story The Great Silent, which is available online, and you can get a sense of his sort of thoughtful writing style. Um, but if you do get a chance, The Story of Your Life is also fantastic, and I am just absolutely gobsmacked that they were able to make a movie based on that short story and render it as faithfully as they did. Both are worth checking out. Okay, so we're closing in on the end of the year, which is traditionally a fantastic time for reading, for me. But then my daughter picked up a blazing fast desktop computer in which to play Overwatch. And then Black Friday came along and Overwatch was on sale, so I picked up a copy for myself. Uh, now, I have far more 
developed impulse control than the early days of playing the original Call of Duty where we had our own clan, weekly skirmishes, and I was a bit of an obsessive gamer, but Blizzard is no stranger to making gaming crack, so I remain ever vigilant. But I am just one man, and I am not strong, and this game is so, so good. But we'll see how it fares over the holiday season. In the meantime, take care of yourself. I hope you have a great week of reading, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.